Yo. Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. I'm your host, Jose Rocks. Today we have another episode of Journey Through VGC. The current format we in is Regulation D. Y'all ready? Let's get into it. All right, here we are. So this time we have one of my less crazy teams and something that's a little bit more consistent and might be you know a lot easier for some people to play with that like to play defensive and like kind of have balance so this is a, a really good balance team it's based around urshifu dark um he's the star of this team but what makes it balanced is that you have a lot of good type synergy and you have fire a fire water grass core that's you know really good together so starting off from the top the phorograph is a pretty standard phorograph set with terra fairy um, you have, you know, the Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleams, which are pretty strong into, like, things that are weak to Fairy, like Urshifu's, um, Dragonite's, Chimpow's, things of those nature. And then you have Imprisoned Trickroom, right? So not only does this give you a Trickroom option to threaten other Tailwind teams because teams want to play fast against this team, but you also um, can lock up Trickroom teams, which are relatively uh, not as good into this team because of your, your middling speed and the bulk so this team is like this team is like it thrives in beating trick room teams and tailwind teams right that's kind of like the basis of it and just by controlling the speed control with frigograph and the next pokemon is going to be heatran so this is also a pretty standard heatran set uh it does have the predictable uh grass terror but uh you do have surprise substitute which can kind of catch your opponent off guard if they are thinking that heatran might play uh protect or play a little passive a turn you can get a substitute off the Terra Blast next to Rillaboom in the grassy terrain uh, does a lot of damage. So it's a really good answer into like Urshifu and things like that. But be aware that a lot of people are expecting he trying to be Grass Terra. But I just wanted it, you know, for the sake of this team just being a really consistent balanced team, right? Now we have Gyarados. This is a pretty similar set to one that I used in Regulation C. It's going to be Fairy Terra, which is, gives you good type synergy because a lot of people might expect Gyarados to be um, still Terra these days. And it allows you to only be weak to steel and uh, poison, which you already resist steel before you tear, right? Which is good. So that's that's a good uh, tear type four. You have the Citrus Berry for extra recovery, Thunder Wave, Ton of Waterfall. It's a really powerful uh, Gyarados set, really good into Among Us. This team has an incredible Among Us matchup, right? Because you can um, you can taunt it, Rillaboom's immune to it, Heatran hits it with you know fire moves, and you have Grass Terror, so you're immune to it plus substitute. Uh, Godango is immune to Among Us and Frigograph can hit it with Psychic. So you just, this team is really good into Among Us, which Among Us is one of the most common Pokemon in the format right now. Next we have Rillaboom, also pretty standard Rillaboom set with Fake Out, Wood Hammer, Stumping Tantrum, U-Turn with the Water Terror. And now we have Urshifu. So Urshifu um, is a little bit different from what you usually see as far as the Terra type. The Terra is Poison. So the Terra type, the one re the reason I want to go with Poison is because you'll have situations to where you don't want your Urshifu to be able to, to be two-shot by Fluttermane or broke, brought down to Sash by Dazzling Gleam then doubled up into with like a priority move next turn. So with the Poison Terra, you're able to 1v1 the Fluttermane, right? And now you can hit it with a Wicked Blow, potentially KO it, or hit it with a Sucker Punch the following turn. You don't have to worry about being down to Sash. It is very niche, but... It's a situation to where a lot of people might expect you to be um, Dark Terror or Ghost Terror for that nature. And now you have a good matchup. It's a Chin Pao Sacred Sword as well, right? Because you're not taking over. You're taking less than half damage for it because Urshifu has a really good defensive stat. And the last but not least, we have Godango. So this Godango set is pretty cool. It's going to be Choice Scarf, which is really good with the Frigograph because a lot of the times teams that are Tailwind teams, don't want to set up Tailwind in front of Frigograph. And if you can remove Tornadus, then Godango can pretty much, unless they have Booster Energy on the team, can outspeed everything else, right, with the Choice Scarf. And now you can also use this Godango against bulky teams, right? So it's kind of flexes. You can keep your Choice Scarf and play against the, you know, the, the faster teams that don't have their Tailwind up. And then you can play against the bulky Trick Room teams that kind of want to set up like Iron Hands or Cresselia. You can trick them your choice scarf, and now when they have to switch out, you get a free turn to go for Nasty Plot, which is a really cool set because a lot of people don't expect, you know, Godango with choice scarf 
to also have um, Nasty Plot, which is a really cool set. Even if you trick the Choice Scarf and they see that you have Trick, they will probably expect you to just be three attacks and you have Nasty Plot. So now you can go for Nasty Plot and they can't just, you know, sit in front of Godango after it clicks, make it rain a couple times because then it becomes threatening. And then you have Steel Terror just to boost that Steel, uh, steel Damage when you want to go for those fast make, make it rains. So that's going to be it for this team report. This team is, like I said, this is one of my less, you know, niche teams that I usually make. I don't want to say they're niche, but I usually like, you know, do like unorthodox strategies and things like that, that to make teams really stand out on the ladder. This is going to be one of my more consistent teams. And um, you'll see in the video that this is also one of my play styles because I'm usually very hyper offensive and I like to build offensive teams or like, you know, teams that are good in trick room but i also like to play balance right and this is one of my, my balance teams that really shows like a lot of my skill when it comes to positioning my pieces properly and outplaying my opponents and you know using the right pokemon at the right time this team kind of thrives in good board positioning so that's what that's one thing that i like about this team and if you like teams that are really good at board positioning then this will be the team for you but enough about that let's go ahead and get into some battles All right, so we have our first match, and we are going up against Godango, Tornadus, Landorus, Chiyu, Urshifu, and Rillaboom. So how do we want to play this? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I think my Urshifu Dark is really good here. Hits everything except his Urshifu, but I can hit that with close combat and I have Rillaboom. I think his Chi Yu doesn't really want to come here. I think I'll leave for a graph. I am Terra Fairy, right? Yeah, so that pressures Chi Yu into wanting to go for dark type attacks. Then I bring Rillaboom, Urshifu in the back. Gyarados could be good here, but his Godango is a bit annoying. And my Godango, um, it kind of just, it doesn't want to be in Tailwind. It doesn't want to be under Trick Room either, though. But it doesn't want to be in Tailwind with the Chiyu. Or the Urshifu, which I can't hit either for good damage or make it rain. Alright, so it's Urshifu Chiyu. That's a good lead, because that specifically counters what I have here. So I can remove Urshifu and try to set up Trick Room, right? I get it off, I get it off. If I don't, it's fine. But I think Heatran is really good here. Because he pressures my Heatran with Surgeon Strikes and he pressures Frigoraph for the Dark type attack. But if he's not Choice Spec, he may be able to survive it if he doesn't double it. Oh, he misses. Okay. He doubled that slot. And he's taking it. He, so he loses Urshifu here and Trickling goes up. And he's faster than my Heatran, so that's perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, now we can't really hit the Chiyu for much damage to what we have on the field, but he's locked in it uh, over here. I'm pretty sure he's choice based. So he was willing to trade Fergraph for his Urshifu. And I was switched into Rillaboom there, then I would have ate up uh, Overheat, right? But that worked out perfect. <clears throat> That's another reason, you know, running Overheat, you do have that 90% chance to miss. So we can tear a landers here into flying. My 
Urshifu can come in and click close combat and achieve you. I want to try to remove uh, Landers if I can. Yeah, Chi switches. Something's taking a heat wave. Rillaboom, okay. Rillaboom's not taking a heat wave well. Should be flying here. Probably trying to remove my heat train. Yeah, okay. If Psychic gets a special defense drop, then he's in a really bad spot. Right. Do we get this special defense drop? That did a lot. Yeah. Had we got the special defense drop, he would have just dropped. We may even survive this because I'm not like a frail heat train. Wait, this is Landorus with uh, Terra Blast with the Terra Boost. He's already flying typing. Yeah, we don't we don't survive. Okay, it's fine though. Cause he can't tear uh, Chi Yu. Yeah, so we dazzling gleam plus stomping tantrum. How many turns are trickling though? Because I can just fake out. Three turns left. Plenty of time. So I can fake out and dazzle. And then stomping dazzle. Oh, he has protect on landers. Okay. Right there. All right, unless he's covert cloak, he shouldn't be able to move here. All right, nice. I, I'm pretty sure he specs. We'll go for dazzling again, KO Landers, and then stumping. And he gets a double. It's kind of annoying. But I, in the end, I don't think it matters because we have Sash on Urshifu. But it kind of matters if, he, if we don't KO him, but I think we should. Yeah, nice. And yeah, still one more turn to triple. He can get a triple protect, but Urshifu can just come in and just click Sucker Punch and it's game over. Yeah, that'll be game. And he was probably hoping that I didn't have stomping as Chi Yu survives and probably heat waves to double KO on my side. But even with that, um, <clears throat> all I gotta do is click two sucker punches, right? Because I have focus sash on Urshifu. So even if he got that KO, the double KO, right? If I didn't have stomping or I don't KO, I come in, I click sucker punch because he's gonna be really low. I click sucker punch in the Chi Yu, he can't protect, KO that. And then Landris clicks Flying Terror, Terror Blast into Urshifu. I survive with Sash. And then I just click Sucker Punch into Landris to follow the turn. It doesn't have any priority. So that would be game regardless. All right, get, getting into our next match. <clears throat> Ooh, we have a Snow Team. So Landris kind of helps Heatran, right? I mean, kind of... It makes it tough for Heatran not to Terra. So he should bring Landorus. Heatran is really good here. There's too many freeze drives for me to want to bring Gyarados. It is good in the Landorus, though. And Rillaboom. You're not really hitting much with him. So I think these two stay. I think Godengo comes in the back. I 
I think I believe he trained for a guy. Threaten trick on. Extra food, but then go in the back. And we don't really want to get trick room up. I just kind of want to threaten the talent flame. I don't know why talent flame's there. Talent flame doesn't really feel like it fits this team. But I guess it does give you a fire type to hit the other ice types. Landorus is perfect for that team because it threatens uh, Heatran, which is really good into ice, the ice core. Alright, so bundle. Yeah, so Trick Room definitely should go up here. So I think this is easy for Tech and Trick Room. I don't see them having enough offense to knock out. <clears throat> Fergaraf. Maybe a Terra Flying plus Hydro Pump. I still don't think that gets in any. He has to hit the Hydro Pump. Yeah, Fergraph was a beautiful lead here because I know he, he's thinking, you know, Trick Room is bad for him. Yeah, so now if I get Trick Room out successfully, he doesn't have any switches to Heat Wave. Even Talent Flame takes a lot. So he's going for the Raw Blizzard. He does hit. Stop it. Okay. So we want to tear here, heat wave, dazzling. So he's probably playing for the freeze. And he couldn't just ignore the heat trans slot, so he just went for it. But he has no switches besides talent flame into this. He's switching Chin Power, it's gonna uh Dazzling's gonna break the sash and it's gonna get one shot. Switching Obama Snow is going to get one shot. Switching Articuno is going to take a lot of damage. Yeah, and even Talon... I, I doubt Talon Flame is in the back, but even if it was, it's still going to take about 50% from this double up. And he stays there. I kind of think he's pinned. I don't... I, I mean, he could protect here. Try to stall out Trick Room. We are using our Terra first, but this is just in case Landers is Assault Vest and survives the double up. Okay, so that protects. How much is this doing? Yeah, that may be Assault Vest. Okay, so this is why we went for the Terra. Yeah. Oh, that might KO. Oh, the Rocky Helmet is perfect. So now he's in range of another double up. Wow, so that was base 150? He's just straight bolt. Because Stumping Tantrum failed into my Heatran, so that means that was a 150 base attack into my uh, Frigorath. And only did about 30%. That means he's super invested in bulk and doesn't have a lot of attack investment. So we need to kind of get him off the field because he may be slower than Urshifu on the trick room, most likely. Because my Urshifu is adamant with max speed. So it's, um, if his Landorus is uh, jolly max speed, then it can outspeed me. So, but most, most Landorus are not running jolly max speed. Right That's really a sword and shield thing. Where it used to be jolly Landorus max speed with your attack so you can outspeed things with the max airstream once you get a boost. You outspeed everything except Regilecki, I believe, with one airstream boost. And with two airstream boosts, you outspeed Regilecki. But Regilecki doesn't threaten Landorus, right? In Sword and Shield, because you can't tear her into ice. So that's why, you know, max jolly uh, max speed Landorus with Dynamax is really good in Sword and Shield. But I haven't, I don't think I've seen anyone run that 
because it's too valuable to be bulky. So I think it'll always underspeed my Urshifu under Trick Room, unless it's Scarf. But even Scarf, they're running Adamant, right? My opponent's thinking, but he, he doesn't really have a lot of outs. Trick Room is really bad for him. Articuno and... Obama's one. Okay. So Articuno can dodge stuff here. It can hit me with a blizzard. I need I need to try to remove. I, I believe Obama Snow made terror here. How many turns of trick on my left? I think I wanna protect. See what he's gonna tear into. I think I should play offensive here. It should be a bomber snow, right? Because we just get one shot by heat wave. Yeah. It is water. Okay. I wonder if who's faster. Special defense drop would be nice. My heat train is, but we missed the yard open. Uh, I wanted to terror blast that, so we are slower under trick room. Oh, that's a double KO. I think I should have protected heat train there. Because my good dingo can't protect, and it's another turn of trick room left. There's the barrel. I didn't expect Articuno just one shot heat train like that. I think I just quick make it rain for you. Yeah, if he has Auroraville, would he have Earth Power too? I feel like tricking a Choice Scarf kind of helps him though. But it does give me access to Nasty Plot. It. it does have earth power. Probably survive for the smidge. Alright. All right, I think I want to take out article now. Because it can roost. We have 100% accurate attacks. We just have to hit it in the snow. Yeah, I just featured this combo on my channel. If you uh, want to see it, uh, just scroll back a couple videos um, to earlier this month. And we, we uh, used a snow team that I built. And it was really fun. Got a lot of wins, a lot of freezes, a lot of RNG. Because this team plays with RNG. Let's see, can we dodge the RNG here? Right, we hit make it rain. What could blow Shikao that? Nice. Whew, that was close. I think it is a blizzard here. Nice, no freeze. 
How many turns of snow are left? Because we could probably stall out snow, right? Oh, that's still two turns, so I think. I wonder, does Wicked Blow crit through the defensive boost? Well, let's find out. Nice, and we get the win. Whew, that was so close, man. I think I misplayed by not protecting Heat Train so that uh, Godingo can always come out outside of Trick Room. Yeah, I think that was the misplay on my because I, I I feel like if we miss a Make It Rain or Wicked Blow on Articuno, we probably lose the game. But that was a good match. Um, we still was able to pull it out. And let's get into the next one. All right. So we have the world's winning team. <clears throat> but it's definitely switched around. Oh, this is not the world winning team. It's Tornadus instead of Landorus. But the other five Pokemon are the same. But I wonder if it's the same sis. Landorus not being here is actually good for Heatran. Right, because Heatran is really good as long as we get rid of Chinta. Which we can do. I want to remove Landorus. I mean, not Landorus, Tornadus. Alright, so I think I want to go for Regarath. Urshifu. Ashes, Fergaraf, Gyarados. Uh, I think I'm leaving Urshifu and, and Rodango, but that might be... I'm playing more towards the balance core of my team. I just realized how good um, Gyarados is here. But Gyarados could be good for tricking a Choice Scarf on the Iron Hands. He didn't lead it here right there. So we get to intimidate immediately, which is good. I think I want to go for a psychic on the Urshifu. Actually, I'll go for a Gleam, right? To break Sash. And Thunder Wave. He should really want target down the Frigora. Water Terror would be good here if I had it on Frigora, but we don't have that here. So he's going for the KO. I, I may have should have went. Oh, he's starting to start Gyarados. Fairy Terror would have been crazy here, but I don't want to burn my Terror just yet. Yeah, that's enough to KO. Uh. 
think I'm gonna bonus right here. And Gyarados is here for Among Us, right? So I'm gonna go for a wood hammer. Actually, I think he may protect Chimpire. So I'll fake out Chimpire. I'll go for a Thunder Wave into this slot. It should switch out. Yeah, because he's Scarf. He went before uh, Chimpire. There's Among Us. We missed Thunder Wave. That's fine. We get this wood hammer that slot. That should be enough to KO. And we're gonna taunt the Amogus slot. The best they can do is go for a Pollen Puff here. Thunder Wave misses unfortunate. Paralyzing the Amogus would have been really good. But I think we're still in a good spot. He trained his position to clean up this game too. Little grass terror. Alright, this should KO. Nice. So he loses his terror. So he pretty much trades his terror for my photograph. But I feel like I didn't want to terror photograph right there because of how good the grass terror is on Heatran for this end game. Against Among Us and Urshifu. Oh yeah, Sludge Bomb. Nice. And he gets the poison. <clears throat> I mean, it's fine. The only other threat, really, to uh, the Grass Terror Heatran would be Tornadus, right? He should bring in his last right now. to you actually I could switch into Heatran oh I was switched the wrong way <laughs> dang I did not mean to do that that might cost me because he should sludge bomb into that slot and dazzling gleam yeah. Oh, I survived. Oh, so I think it's fine. So I was going to die anyway, because he didn't protect. So that actually worked out, because I was able to get the KO on Fluttermane right now instead of later. That shouldn't do too much. That was a crit. I was wondering why. Like, we four times resist that. I still did a decent amount. Alright, so we lost Rillaboom, but we get an Intimidate on Urshifu. So his close combat is weaker, which is perfect. Because he's, he's not going to want to lock into certain strikes here. She's gonna Thunder Wave you, Terra Blast. That should one hit KO Urshifu. As long as he doesn't get a crit close combat, I think we're in a good spot. Yeah, so that was perfect. I I, I didn't mean to switch that way, because the idea was um, I wanted to paralyze the Fluttermane and switch into Heatran and eat up the Sludge Bomb, like be immune to it. But it ended up working out because I was able to pick up the KO on Fluttermane now because he didn't protect it. And the reason I made that play was potentially reading Fluttermane protecting that turn. And Among Us going for a Sludge Bomb to Rillaboom, but he didn't go for that play. It may have just been Choice Picks. Yeah, 
They still went for certain strikes. I think close com I mean, well, close combat wouldn't have beat Gyarados either. But at least they have our Citrus Berry on Gyarados. Nice. We paralyze Among Us. Like, when Among Us is taunted, like, it just... It literally just sits on the field and just does nothing, you know? And I, I love that. It can hit Heatran now, though. Nice, he did go for Sludge Bomb. Okay, so that was the cover for me tearing. I wonder if that would have KO'd. Would I have been able to beat Among Us if it's Rocky Helmet? That's crazy now that I think about it. I think I need to get some more recovery here. Yeah, because missing the heat wave here and he KOs Heatran. That's why he's staying in. All right. Yeah, this is kind of scary, right? I think I need to substitute here. I think I need to give my chance more myself more chances to hit heat wave. So we'll try to get a pair on you and sub. I think he's Rocky Helmet though. Yeah, he is. That's crazy. Sludge Bomb allows Among Us to be able to do well into what we have here. He still gets Sludge Bomb on. Okay. I think he knows that he can win with the uh, the heat wave miss. I think I'm just gonna go for it here. Cause he may target the Gyarados slot. Yeah, that's crazy that Mungus can 1v1 my Gyarados. We hit heat wave though, nice. That's scary, man. That's why he went for Surgeon Strikes there, because if I didn't Terror, he would just KO. Sludge Bomb is good on Among Us. I mean, Pollen Puff could have done, you know, decent into that same thing as well, but Pollen Puff, but Sludge Bomb has Stab on it, so it does a little bit more and has a Poison Chance. That was a unique uh, Among Us set. It had Grass Knot, um, Sludge Bomb, and I taunted it. So I can only assume the other attacks are Rage Powder and Spore. Because Among Us, that's what makes Among Us good with those two. Redirection and Sleep. All right, but let's get into uh, let's get into one final battle. Alright, final match of the day. We have Among Us, Fluttermane, Torco, Cresselia, Iron Hands, and Ursula. So, Imprisoned Furgraph is good here because he clearly wants to play on the Trick Room. I think Ursula is good. Um, if he terrors Cresselia in a fairy, then Godango becomes good into it. Uh, and since he has Sun, Toko, he train is good as well. All my Pokemon look good here. Gyarados, good into the Torko and Among Us, taunting the Among Us is good into and getting Intimidate on the Ursaluna and the Iron Hands. And Rillaboom is good into the Among Us and being able to reduce earthquake damage from the Ursalona. And it's also with assault vest, we're really getting a Flutterman. 
And I feel like all my Pokemon are good here, but I feel like I can deny Trick on pretty well. And pressure KOs with Urshifu. Mongus on Lee here is scary. Because a Rocky Helmet, he can KO Arsha for the right. I think I might have should have went into Godango, actually. Yeah. Because Godango kind of walls both of them. And then I can just trick in a nasty plot. Yeah. Ah, that was a perfect chance to go into Godango. Yeah, so he's going after this. Probably gonna put for to sleep. Okay. Would a monkey switch here? If so, what would it switch into? He's only switching his Torco. I think he stays in here with Amogus and tries to put Heat Trying to sleep though. He's only switching it would be Torco, but it's still gonna take a lot of damage from Heat Waves, right? So I don't know if he wants to make that switch. He may not even brought Torco. But Priscilla switches. I'm gonna get Iron Hands a uh, Choice Scarf. If he's a Salt Vest, I kind of know I want to be able to nasty plot. Taking the Assault Vest really doesn't help me. I want to take something though. I think I'll take Among Us item. So he didn't go for it. Oh, he can't go for it. I was just focus, Sash. Actually, really good here. I should have sent out go Dango turn one. I'll psychic you, and I just trick your assault this away. Assault vest. Alright, so now he's in heat wave trouble. 
All right, but Dango did his job, <laughs> stealing items. I didn't really get to go for the nasty plot, make it rain stuff. But I think I should have switched Dango, Dango turn one. But he's still, like, Caselia can't go for Trick Room. He can't switch in Among Us here. He's already burned his Terra, and Heat Wave is threatening everything. Actually, I kind of want to go for a Psychic into our hand just in case Heat Wave misses. And... Heat wave. This is the cover for Heat Wave Miss. Oh, my opponent just cancels. Nice. Well, we're actually going to get into one more battle since that one was so quick. <laughs> the Fergarab just can, he can't do nothing that he wanted to do. We brought the perfect Pokemon. Yeah, that was supposed to be the last match, but since, you know, I feel like it was really quick, we'll get into one more. This team is really good. We're undefeated with it so far. All right, we have our extra match of the day, and we have a very strange team. So he has Tyranitar, but nothing to go in it. And he has Vascalegion, but nothing to set up rain. And he has Trick Room. So Heatran um, is still good here. I think Fergraph Urshish Food helps me deal with like any shenanigans with like Armor Rouge. I think Dango's good here for the Sylveon. Actually, I don't like Fergraph here. This is a trick room team, and I want to wall out trick room. A train. It'll lead Gyarados. I, I kind of want to bring it, but all my Pokemon look good here because Rillaboom is also good here to get rid of the terrain. I have the team matchup, it's just about bringing the right ones. Should be a heat wave here, so I want to go into heat train and in prison. This way, this indeed he can't click anything but follow me, right? Fairy. Do you have Terra Blast? Or is it just Heat Wave? Yep. Thank you. Whew. I did a lot. Let's go for Gleam here. <sighs> Did you really go for another Heat Wave? Okay, 
Okay, so now he can set up Trick Room. So he showed Heat Wave Expanding Force. Does he have White Guard? Because if he doesn't, then he just loses here, right? Oh, let's just follow me. That should be game. I mean, he still has two in the back, right? This should KO Ndidi. Oh, something's taking a heat wave with the flash, flash fire boost. Still doing a lot. Yeah. Nice. Do we get a burn? Oh, we do get a burn. Perfect. Basket Legion is not under rain, though. So I think he's the adaptability variant. There's Indeedy. Terra blasting to you. Alright, so I think I want to get rid of Ndidi because Trick Room could be kind of annoying here. Terra. I'll make it rain again. I want to conserve my Urshifu Sash. And I think Basket Legion may target down the Heat Train. Dango Dango, this chip is just to help me be able to double KO here. So he's just following me, so he's not even trying to set up Trick Room. If you take out Go Dango, that's fine. I'm at minus two. Oh, we're faster, so he's a Trick Room Basketball Nice. Uh. I don't know if the crit, I don't I, I couldn't tell if that crit was on a DD or D Basculation. But I think we have enough resources to win this game and I can just switch out Go Dango to reset the special attack drops and click heat wave again with heat train. It's Tyranitar. So we just click Terra Blast here, switch out, pressure food. He already burned his Terra, so yep. Yeah. Single close combat just ends the game. And even if he like had something to like maybe one shot Urshifu or like got a crit and then the sand knocks out and knocks me out past my sash. Then I still would have just came back in with uh, Godango and been able to just click uh, Make it rain and make it rain plus the um, Terra blast that I should potentially get off twice should be enough to KO him even if he found a way to KO Urshifu um, Through the sash once I switched it in All right, but that's gonna be it for this team and let's get into a final let's get into a little midway review with it All right, <clears throat> so for our midway review this team is really strong. I do like the balance core, um, Gyarados, Rillaboom, and Heatran. And Urshifu, Ferrograph, and Godango support it perfectly. 
the we didn't really in this first video we didn't really get to showcase the nasty plot when we tricked off for godango we did have an opportunity to do it but i didn't go for that switch immediately which i should have because then like godango just threatens like everything and i could have got an easy trick off on the switch in but i think he would have switched in iron hands on the uh Cresselia slot always to take the make it rain so i could have you know tricked the among us and not the Cresselia slot because i was thinking about tricking Cresselia and then going for the nasty plot but iron hands was able to do like you know two hit ko godango with wild charge but in the end you know we were able to play around it not allow trick to go up and we had you know we did pretty well into that team um the urshifu set uh we didn't actually go for the terror poison yet but it's there so that you can you know have a good matchup into things that may two hit ko urshifu and if you want to be able to survive and win the one we want against like fairy types and stuff like that with the poison terror and it's just a defensive terror to give it synergy because we have the sash we might could still go with dark terror but i just wanted the poison terror just in the event that i needed to use it also you know previewing this team the fairy terror on photograph everyone it seems like everyone's expecting that so the only change i would make to that was make it water terror instead because chiyu continues to click heat wave into uh photograph it's never clicking dark type attacks right and even with me having heat trend on the team it still wants to click those um heat waves but everything else felt good this team feels really strong really consistent and gives you a lot of options you don't have to have tailwind you can threaten with trick room and if they don't want to go with uh their tailwind option then you can threaten with choice scarf go dango and the thunder wave right and also like the focus session urge food so this team has a lot of good sets a lot of good synergy and I, you know i'm really liking it and i feel like it does really well into the meta it has the perfect balance of like special attackers and physical attackers right and you're able to hit a lot of things for super effective that picks up the KO when you don't really have anything that can boost on this team besides the Godango. But that's going to be it for this uh, review. I will be back with another video with this team to, you know, showcase it a little more. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There is a rental code up at the top right as well as the Poke Place in the description below. And let me know with a comment if you enjoyed this team. But that's it for this. Uh, like it, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, deuces.